Dr. M. C. Uthappa. I'm the Director of Interventional Radiology at Clinical Interventional Radiology Institute. This is a new uh, department and an initiative that we have started at Clinical Hospital Richmond Road. Great pleasure in uh, welcoming to this video uh, Dr. Bhavya and Dr. Rohit, my colleagues here. Today we've got together really to talk about a common problem related to breast issues and uh, we are all aware that you know, breast problems is increasingly a big burden, and we are also aware that we want to detect these lesions early. I'd like to ask Dr. Bavia how an interventional radiologist can help in uh, diagnosis of breast diseases. So, firstly, uh, so to breast disease in women is a very important and relevant topic because the disease burden is increasing. And if I have to put it in terms of numbers, almost 50% of the female populations are affected by some form of breast disease at some point in their life. And fortunately, about uh, more than 90% of them are benign conditions like fibroadenomas and fibrocystic diseases. And about 3 to 6% of them are malignancies. And in the recent times, uh, in Incidence rates of malignancies are increasing. It is uh, increasing almost at a rate of one uh, percent per year, and it's even higher in younger populations. So it's increasing at a rate of one point five percent in women younger than fifty years of age. And if I have to talk about role of interventional radiologists in breast disease, so they play an important role both in the diagnosis as well as in the management of both benign as well as malignant breast diseases. And uh, with their diagnostic background, they are uh, skilled to uh, perform ultrasound uh, studies and uh, read mammograms and MRI studies to pick up uh, the breast diseases or breast malignancy at a very earliest stage, probably when they are you know, a few millimeters in size. And they even perform this guided, image guided uh, biopsies to take out tissue sample to obtain tissue diagnosis, which is like the gold standard for establishing a diagnosis. And they are uh, trained to even sample a nodule as small as 5 mm, I can say. So, these way they play a very important role in the early detections of uh, breast cancer and other nodules. So, uh, Dr. Bhavya, once the uh, diagnosis is made, do IRs play a role in the management or treatment as well? I mean, what I'm trying to say is, are there any non-surgical options available for breast conditions? Yes, definitely. And in fact, uh, I get asked about this by my patients very often. Are there any non non-surgical ways or are there any ways uh, in which they can get rid of their uh, breast nodules without having to undergo surgery and uh, yes, definitely we do have options. So, we do offer them something called as vacuum assisted excisional therapies and ablative therapies. In vacuum assisted uh, excisional therapies, we insert a special needle like device and we cut and suck out the entire nodule section by section. This works very well for small sized uh, nodules or fibroadenomas. In ablative therapies, we have microwave ablation, we have radiofrequency ablation and cryoablation. So, microwave and radiofrequency ablation, they are heat-based techniques in which we insert a special needle-like devices and generate very high temperatures of heat to kill and destroy the nodule. And in cryoablation, again, it's a needle-based technique where a special cryo probe will go into the nodule specifically under ultrasound guidance and then we generate extremes of uh, cold inside the nodule to kill and freeze the nodule. So, both ways we are killing and destroying the tumor and once the tissue dies, automatically the body's immune system will clear up the dead cells and the tumor will shrink and disappear uh, gradually over a few months period. I personally prefer cryo over heat-based technique because it is completely safe. It is totally pain-free and it can be entirely done under local anesthesia. And it's much more effective, I can say. And in fact, cryo has been proven to be effective even in early stage uh, malignancies, like suppose a uh, breast cancer, if it is less than 1.5 centimeter, cryo works very well as well in those cases. Thank you, Bhavya, for sharing the various treatment options the interventional radiologists provide. Uh, could you please uh, elaborate on the you know key features where interventional radiology offers the benefits when compared to open surgery? So, so firstly, uh, it's cosmetically very appealing. So there won't be any scars from the procedure. Probably the patient will just have one or two mm uh, a spot 
which will go away in one or two months time and there won't be any disfigurement in terms of appearance of the breast because we don't remove a tiny bit of breast parenchyma in this uh, procedure and secondly it's a it can be completely especially cryo it can be completely done under local anesthesia and patient need not undergo uh, general anesthesia and they can completely avoid the risks associated with the general anesthesia thirdly the recovery is faster so the patient uh, this is a day care procedure so the patient will be discharged on the same day and they can go back to their uh, uh, normal activities on the same day and in fact they can go back to their work the very next day after the procedure and fourthly i can say the pain and the discomfort after the procedure is very minimal when compared to surgeries so dr bavya for the benefit of our viewers are there any conditions where ir procedures are preferred over surgery yes there are a few specific conditions in which we prefer updated therapies over uh, surgeries for example if patient is unfit for surgery or unfit for uh, general anesthesia due to a uh, there are other comorbidities then ablative therapies are the primary treatment options what we offer them and then secondly patient preference if any patient for whatever reason if they want to avoid surgery then ir procedures ir ablative procedures come comes very handy in them and then third if there is a recurring disease if patient has had surgery in the past and if the disease has recurred definitely patient will not be uh, happy to undergo second surgery and surgery itself will be difficult because of uh, post operative scarring and alterations in the anatomy so again in those cases ablative therapies are preferred and fourthly when we have significant disease burden so meaning uh, if we have too many fibroids in both the breast then surgery will become cumbersome and um, and it might even involve removing the entire breast so all those uh, things can be avoided by this simple ablative therapies thank you bhavya for sharing your in depth knowledge uh, on uh, various aspects of breast diseases including uh, how endocrinologists can you know help in diagnosis and also elaborating all the treatment options and i'm sure viewers who are listening to this video uh, will greatly benefit uh, so with your permission i would like to uh, conclude uh, in this session by saying that we have the team are available 24/7 at Clinical Intervention Radio Institute to reach out to as many patients as possible so anybody with any breast disease or breast related problem uh, would like to reach out to us seek an opinion from us and uh, we at Clinical Hospital Richmond Road uh, would like to help as many patients as possible thank you thank you